Good afternoon, everyone. Very happy to be here to talk about the Kesuga community. So my name is Yong Kang He. I'm the founder of Kesuga Kubernetes user group. That's the most active Kubernetes plus AI user group. I'd love to share my experiences. We started in Singapore back in September 2022, and then we expanded to Australia in April 2023, followed by we launched in Canada in August the same year. All of this year, in March, we expanded to, you know, to the UK market. In the last month, we just launched in Sydney. So our community has grown from zero to almost 17,000 members globally. And we, our community also managed the most active Kubernetes discussion group. So far, we've got 10,000 plus you know, members. And I want to thank you to our awesome sponsors and our amazing volunteers. Without them, we want to be able to grow our community to today. And uh, the best part, we're still rapidly growing and expanding. So just to show you how powerful this community is. So we are helping the community and the community members, they come back to help us as well. This is a great example. Our landing page completely created, designed, and maintained by our volunteers. And you might notice on the screen, we have the AI capabilities built in as well. So you can ask the question like, uh, when is the next meetup in Singapore, in London, in Toronto, in Sydney, or Melbourne? So I want to special thanks to our volunteers I mentioned here, uh, Jeremy Bowen and Bohan. So by the way, if you want to try the AI capabilities, you know, it's an open source powered by Skyward AI. So talking about the volunteers, this is just some of our volunteers. So from Australia, so some of these are active organizers as well. So to make that happen, that's our first challenge. How to, you know, bring the community together. We need active volunteers. We don't need, you know, more volunteers. We just need more active volunteers to be more specific. And we also have active volunteers from Singapore, from Canada, from UK. Okay, what about the second challenge? So the second challenge is, I mentioned earlier already, we need sponsors. Why we need sponsors? We are hosting the meetup. We need someone to offer us the venue, big enough to host the meetups. And we also need someone to sponsor us food and drinks, etc. So that's the two major challenges to me. And there are some other challenges like uh, speakers. We need to find uh, the more relevant speakers. So to me, I think that's the least challenge because if we can't find a speaker, especially in the initial few meetups, so our volunteers, our speakers, they step up to do some sharing sessions. So just to summarize, our secret sauce are active volunteers and our sponsors and also we find the most relevant speakers. Okay, you know, welcome you guys to join us, to follow us. We are continuously to expand. We might expand to the city, the country you are living. Yeah, please help us spread the word. Before I wrap up, I want to talk about the Cubes Journal. I know there is a separate session talk about the Cubes Journal. I don't know if you guys have heard of the Cubes Journal. I don't want to spend too much time here, but I just want to say, you know, you guys see the back, you know, Cubes Journal, it's more fun. Yeah, on the, on the screen you can see, on my way back, I got the jacket from Paris at Cubicon Europe, and uh, I was traveling on British Airways. Uh, they, you know, invited me to sit on the cool policy. It's more fun, you know, to be a Cubes Journal. But we need a more different color, right? And after I become a cube astronaut, I also managed to become an astronaut. So you need to be fully certified on AWS. Okay, join me to become a you know, cube astronaut plus astronaut. This is the power of the community, completely running by the volunteers with a passion to helping more community members. So we are neutral and we are not interfered or controlled by any you know, vendors. I hope it is useful to you all. Please follow me, follow us to helping more community members. Thank you.